What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be doing an interview with someone who I've been working with for a while. His name's Zach. Uh, he's now a coach inside of the Freedom Team. So I'm very glad to be working with him and um, see how he's progressed over the years. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and get started. So Zach, uh, why don't you start off by giving a quick background about yourself, maybe how long ago you started trading, kind of what got you into it. And um, yeah, how does that sound? That sounds good. Ple pleasure for, or thank you for having me on. Thank you for having me on. Um, it's, it's a pleasure getting to speak with you here today. Um, so again, my name is Zach and I started trading. Actually, it was like right at the COVID crash. So I had about, oh, 1500 to two grand, just like saved up from like different, cause I was in school, DoorDash, just like different money I had. And when the stock market really crashed, I like kind of saw it as my opportunity to get in. Um, and again, I just bought shares. So that was like in 2020, like March of 2020, I just bought like $2,000 worth of different shares and kind of saw how they grew. And then um, was like, okay, this is actually really cool. Like I could actually see myself doing this at a, like a different pace. And uh, from there, I, I probably came out, I think I like, probably tripled my money. I, I did really well like with the shares I bought. I held them for about eight months. Um, so I came out with a little bit of money there um, to kind of really start trading. Um, and so I learned basically what options were uh, from watching different YouTube videos. Um, from those YouTube videos brought me on to different, um, I would say, Discord services, alerts to where, again, a beginner, I barely knew what a naked option was. Uh, they like, yes, I did learn a lot being a noob, but all that money I had gained from that run up, that two grand turned to six grand, lost, lost yeah. it all. Then, uh, obviously, because I was like, okay, I'll just deposit more, keep and be successful now, still following alerts, not really realizing why I'm entering these trades, what I'm doing. And just really getting all my education from uh, YouTube or different alerts, um, eventually lost uh, $10,000 around there, maybe a little less, like nine, nine, five. That was like, okay, when I hit that, I was like, there's got to be another way. There's got to be another way. And then slowly but surely um, kind of stumbled upon uh, more helpful things uh, to teach me more helpful education um also took a step away from options and got into future futures trading i still do options but primarily futures on the in the day the day trade type uh, atmosphere um but got more into futures because really naked options was affecting me just due to theta not taking correct options not learning not doing the correct stuff um as because i had no education to do that um and then started working with jordan and really just stepped up my trading uh to the next level um, I mean, we've been working together for a while, but just really using all his tools and um, resources that he has provided and different things he has taught me really has, like I said, just taken my trading to the next level. Um, yeah, it's, it's been awesome. So I'm on year three now of trading. And I mean, I've made back 10 grand that I lost. Um, so that's encouraging. And now it's really what's next? How can I continue to grow and compound? And um, how can I help other people that are, that are starting brand new or even have been going for four or five years and are still struggling? How can I help them into that next step? And that's really been my, that's really my goal now from coming from my background to that next step. What, what else can I do to give back, I guess? Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you've been trading three years now. You've made all the money back. You've lost, obviously, and then some. And you're finally starting to see consistent profits. Um, for some time now, actually. So that's been really awesome to to also watch you grow and see you come into the trader that you are now. Um, so when you talk a little bit about kind of, you know, I know you said you were kind of guessing on when to enter, when to exit, you didn't really have a strategy, uh, but maybe talk a little bit about kind of what kind of strategy and what you were kind of doing back then, what kind of maybe indicators you're looking at as opposed to how you're trading now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, how I used to trade, I mean, if I if I could like watch a vlog of myself trading, I would tell myself now, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I would probably have all the indicator indicators I possibly could on my chart that trading view allows 
that served no possible reason for me to have, no strategy whatsoever, simply say, simply entering a position just because I saw my Discord notification pop off that said, spy calls at 400, strike price 130, zero DT. And so I'd enter that as well, probably get a worse fill than them. And then over time, just lose, 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 lose. Um, now, I don't have a single indicator on my chart, just volume profile. Um, and strictly supply and demand based. Um, and actually, was we were talking before the interview, um, is how I've just completely lost that, that a need to trade, that itch, that feeling of, okay, where's where's the trade at where's the next trade how can i find the next trade it's simply just all right i i log in at 8 15 8 10 look at the chart look at where we did pre-market sit there away 8 45 rolls around i haven't entered position 8 50 9 o'clock 9 15 still haven't entered by, by 9 30 i'm like all right well nothing showed up today but we'll look we'll try again tomorrow completely shut down uh, all my system, all my trading and move on. So like just a complete 180 from the sitting in front of my chart for the entire day to I'm consistently at an hour a day, if not less. I'm typically a, I've kind of transitioned myself into a one to two trades per day and then I'm done. If I win one, I'm usually done. If I win two, awesome. But usually... I've, I could just grow into that, you know, over trading, slow growth, patience, slow compound. And obviously your help has been the main reason for that. But. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. I know a lot of traders, especially myself, when I start out, you know, I was sitting around just looking through every single stock on my watch list, trying to find a trade when there's nothing there. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, so yeah. Obviously, um, you know, previously when you've been trading, obviously you've had a lot of emotions affect you while you've been trading. And so obviously you've learned some different techniques on how to cope with that. And now you're, you know, being a lot better with your mentality and trading and your psychology around that. Um, so why don't you talk a little bit more on kind of, you know, after going through the mentorship and what you've learned from me, you know, maybe some of those techniques you've used or like anything uh, you can talk about of how your mental game has changed over the past year or so of trading. Yeah. So a uh, great question. I mean, really it all comes down to um, if I can't have discipline in my life, how can I be a disciplined trader? And they go hand in hand. I mean, I think, I think learning discipline in trading is what set me apart in life. I don't think, like I know for a fact that my discipline in life a year ago, a year and a half ago was terrible. Like constantly sitting on my phone, not going to the gym. I mean, even though I had to, because I was an athlete, but it was, it was like, I had to, or I was going to be punished. Like mm -hmm. if it was anything extra that I would do on my own, no, I'm not doing that. So slowly transitioning from that mindset to, okay, if I don't do these things, then I know my trading's going to suffer. If I'm not disciplined in my life, I know I'm not going to have a good day trading. So I've also forced myself to, one thing I did early on as well was like, as soon as I got done with sports was if I don't go to the gym in the morning, I can't trade that day. And that's, that was kind of my thing. Like for the first probably six months when I started seeing growth was like, okay, if I don't go to the gym in the morning before market open, I'm not allowed to l let myself enter a trade. Like I don't even open the chart because it was like, if I'm not disciplined enough to wake up at six to go to the gym, I'm not disciplined enough. I'm not going to be in the right mindset for that trade. For the for the trade, I know I'm going to overtrade that day because every time I would overtrade. So now, I mean, with the mentorship and learning from you, just really just taking that step back and finding other things to fill my time with. Like trading shouldn't be your. It's not meant to be your only form of income, your only passion. Just like if you work a nine to five and that's your only income you're going to be stuck in that nine to five trap for forever. You're going to, you're going to put all your pressure on, okay, I have to work overtime so I can pay the bills. If, if trading's your only form of income, you're going to say, okay, I have to take 20 trades today and I have to win them all or I'm not going to be able to eat. So it's good to have that balance to find that balance um, with trading, personal life, and really use the disciplines 
that you can learn in trading and use them in your personal life as well. So totally. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And, um, you know, congrats to you. You recently just had a daughter. That must be amazing. Um, so I know, obviously, with the trading you used to do, you were sitting at the charts all day. And, you know, now what you've learned is, you know, really that you can trade, you know, and be done in less than an hour a day. So why don't you talk about a little bit how that's made able to help you out, find more time in your personal life? Yeah, so like like Jordan said, exactly. My My whole thought process was like, if I'm not sitting at the chart, I'm not going to be able to hit a trade. I'm going to miss a trade. And now it's like other things in my life have taken priority, which has helped me not feel that, that urge to do things. Um, but basically how I've, or how that has taken effect. Wait, what was the question again? Just like how, cause like before you were trading, you know, almost all day, yeah, yeah. Charts, now you're only spending an hour. So like, how, how has it been, you know, having essentially your time back, being able to not trade the whole day? Yeah. So being able to have my time back has um, really helped just obviously that balance of one, I don't have the urge to trade all the time because now I'm able to shut down, shut everything down and get back to my life. Because the purpose of learning this skill, becoming a great trader is to have freedom. And that's why the name of our mentorship is freedom team trading the purpose of tr learning to trade the stock market is so you can enjoy your life it's not so you sit in front of the screen the entire day having anxiety towards that it's so that you can go out enjoy your day hang out with your family take vacations do countless things because you learned a valuable skill and are good at what you do yeah, for sure. And um, okay, so, you know, before the mentorship, again, like you said, you were kind of guessing on when to enter, when to exit. And now you have a better plan of like a setup, and you have more defined rules of when to enter, when to exit, you really have a strategy that works. Um, so can you talk about like how the mentorship kind of helped you figure out that strategy, and how that's helped you make like more consistent profits? Yeah. So I had never even heard of supply and demand before because I did a, like more support and resistance, which at the end of the day is basically trash. But um, yeah, learning supply and demand, like that was the first time I've ever even heard of it. So um, that has really become my fundamental strategy. That's like my backbone is supply and demand. And even first off, first, like at, at first, sorry, at first, I was using supply zones as support or resistance and demand as support. And it's still not really accurate way to use it. Um, but so through the mentorship, through your teachings, I've been able to identify other ways to utilize supply and demand. Cause I think like if you only use supply and demand, you're going to be like less than 50% of your trades will win, be winners. Um, so you have to have other tools with the supply and demand. Um, so really what I've, what I've just come down to is, so obviously supply and demand is my backbone. And then, uh, there's some balance theory methods in there. And then also just utilizing trend and, and volume as well in entering and exiting. And then, um, also still using support and resistance or, or key areas on the chart, but not really looking at that as, okay, just because spy is at four, 400 today. And there is supply there doesn't mean i'm gonna go short it doesn't mean i'm gonna go short um so really use like what's the trend looking at the trend looking at the multiple time frame analysis um and really just changing the game of having a plan and having an entry having a stop having an exit stick into that because i know and i know why i know why that that's the level i know why that that's my exit why that's my stop not putting a stop at a random number because I don't want to lose more money than like not putting it at a $200 loss, putting it at, okay, below the next low. If I'm going long, instead of a $200 loss, sticking to what the price action on the chart is versus what my broker is telling me my P and L is. Yeah. So that's, that's been huge. Totally. And, you know, a big issue that a lot of traders have when they start is, I'm sure you've had this as well in the beginning, is a lack of confidence. 
right? And one of the best ways to get over that is by understanding that you have a strategy that actually works. So can you talk about maybe how if, you know, getting a strategy that really works uh, has helped you build your confidence and how that's impacted your trading? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So without your help, I would not have a strategy that I knew would work. I would not have the confidence. That was another thing when I kind of transitioned away from, okay, I'm done following the alerts because I lose and I don't have a strategy yet. So I kind of was, I was in that middle ground. It was, okay, I think this is a good idea to enter here, but I still didn't have that strategy. So now transitioning into the area to where I have a fundamental strategy, it allows me to have that confidence. Like I can sit there and I could, I'll just give you an example. I'll enter the trade, I'll sit back and it shows, okay, I'm negative 300, like $300. I'm still just sitting here like I'm chill. Before I'd be like tweaking, like, Enter in the chat. Hey man, should I should I close my position here? Like, what should I do? And now I can really just sit back. Okay, I'm I'm down three hundred dollars. Like, my my trade hasn't been invalidated yet. It's still my trade's still valid just because price action. Like, I didn't have the perfect entry. Maybe my my trade's still valid. It hasn't even come close to my stop. Just because I'm down doesn't mean I should I should panic or do anything. So having the confidence of like, okay, I also know how markets move. The market's not just going to go straight down. It's not going to go to zero just because I went long and I'm down on my position. Knowing that that moves more in waves and trends, um, I'm able to really sit back and relax. And also uh, another great method that I've learned from you is just OCOs or just doing uh, OCOs or even just automating your trading. Um, with what I use, I can, it's, it's similar to OCO. It's not called OCO, but I can basically have it when it takes my first profit and it's automatic. It'll move my stop to break even, um, like, which is essentially an OCO, but it's not called that. But um, yeah, and it works great. A lot of the times I will enter a trade, like say it's um, central time. So it's 845. I enter a trade and maybe it wasn't one that went my way like right away. I'll literally, because I work from home, I will just put my orders in how I want my my take my first tram and it will move my stop up i'll go up make coffee make breakfast hang out with my wife a little bit while it's going i'll just set price alerts on my phone and like then come back down if i haven't been filled like whatever i'll just stay in the trade i can stay in the trade all day as long as i'm still right there like but i'm not touching it again like it's just the oco are there it's if i'm in profit awesome if i lose the trade Typically, I'll just close it break even if I feel like not coughing anymore. But yeah, knowing knowing kind of how the market's going to move and um, knowing that my strategy does work because not only have I tested it countless times, you have, hundreds of other people have as well, have been using this um, to their abilities to um, really just change the way they trade and change the way uh, everything with the market is going to work. So, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, automating your trading is something I love to do and it's, it's, it's key. It's, I just set my stops and my target walk away. I don't have any emotions. I can just let the trade play out. That's, that's awesome. Um, cool. Well, I know you're busy. I don't want to take up too much of your time. So I'll leave you with this one last question here. Um, you know, what advice would you give to someone who's thinking about joining the mentorship, but they might be kind of on the edge, not quite sure, you know, what would you want to say to someone like them? Do it. <laughs> this is going to be the last course, the last anything that you ever have to purchase for yourself. It's going to provide you with all the tools that you need to be successful. It's going to provide you with a community of some profitable traders and traders that maybe just like yourself that are learning. So there is a strong community. I was like, we have people that um, don't even know, know how, like what a naked option is to people that have a $300,000 account that are trading shares because they have enough money to do that. We have both. Okay. We have all the tools that you're going to need moving forward. And this basically one time investment in yourself is going to be the last investment you'll ever have to do with any type of trading 
The only other type of reoccurring expenses that you may have would be your trading view subscription. That would be it. Outside of that, you're never going to get a monthly bill from Discord. You're never going to get a monthly bill from Telegram alerts, whatever it is, you're, this is all you need. It's the last investment um, going forward that's going to one-up your trading and really change the game for you and make you a successful trader. So, uh, Yeah, love that. I completely agree. Um, but yeah, Zach, thank you so much for coming on, taking the time to interview with me. Um, I know we've been growing the Freedom Team and you know people so far have been getting amazing results. So I'm glad that you're part of the team now. And uh, we can continue growing that. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this interview, um, there should be some more down below with other students inside of the Freedom Team. So go ahead, check that out. And um, Zach, again, once again, thank you so much for coming on. And um, yeah, looking forward to everyone else who joins in the Freedom Team. Excited to have you guys.